everybody, Ali Craig here, and today on the Little Black Book of Branding, brought to you by Empire Magazine, we are talking about building a relationship. And guess what? There is no silver bullet. There is no magic pill when it comes to building a relationship. Building a brand relationship with your audience or building a personal relationship all takes time. And certain things only get discovered as time passes and experience happens. So what can you do as a brand to try to expedite this along? Well, think about dating. And I mean that kind of literally. Make your marketing plan not just a they need to buy my sales products strategy, but make it a dating plan where you create the level of intimacy in the amount of experiences you have with your potential client more and more as the relationship evolves. This way, you can begin to create more experiences together, which also creates more memories about your brand, which makes your audience love you more, you love them more, or you find out that this is not a good fit at all. But either way, you build a relationship, and hopefully, if you're ending the relationship, you end it on a good note as well. So, when it comes to building your brand relationship, seriously, think about it like dating. So what do you do when you date nowadays? Well, you normally make a profile. <laughs> so make sure that everything that is your profile, meaning your website, your social media, and all that jazz, looks fabulous and really looks like you. So that way, we don't end up with that bait and switch experience. Then engage. What happens with online dating? You don't get too many hits if you just sit back and wait for people to answer you. You go out and you say, hey, I like you, winky face. You go out and you engage with other people. So guess what? Go out, engage with other people. Find people, if that's through social media networks, networking groups that you're doing, online just searches, or just some good old social stalking. Whatever it is, go out and engage. And then from there, you know how this goes. The coffee date, the dinner date, and hopefully the third date. You never know what happens after that, but more importantly, you are building brand relationships. And even if in the end, you realize it's not a perfect fit, if you leave on good terms, guess what? You still have a brand ambassador out there for you who, when they find someone who could maybe be a good for you, fit for you, all those memories rush back and they will tell the, the other person about you and your brand. So you made a great brand ambassador, at least in the end. So. In the end, relationships take time. But if you consider it like dating and you actually put love into it and not just the idea of money into it, your brand relationships can evolve quicker and be more powerful, which is 